Hello, and in this video, I'm going to take a shot at explaining what I think is one of the most complex, powerful, but obs also obscure concepts in core data, which is Apple's framework for object persistence. Now, first I want to say that although I enjoy doing introductory videos, this isn't an introductory video. There's there's so much to cover that even though I consider myself a beginner in a lot of ways, a lot of doing videos for beginners, this is not a beginner core data concept, and you need to understand all, all the uh, most of the core data concepts as a prerequisite to understand what's going on, going on, going on in, this, in this video. So if you haven't watched this, go back and check out some of the videos, or I'm, I may even do videos on them in the future. But uh, we're gonna, just going to talk about the concept of transformable, the transformable data type for people that uh, maybe are curious, have seen it before, and uh, don't know what it is, or maybe who, who know what it is, but just don't know how to use it. So to demonstrate the problem, I'm just going to go the problem that a transformable solve. I'm just going to go direct to a demo. So we've got this, we've got this simple app here, and when I, uh, I've got the text field and this text view here. This text view is contains an NS attributed string where I can make text bold and underline it and things like that. Um, and I've also got this text field which is just just regular old text. So the key thing is that if I uh, um, change the text in here. Hit the save button. If, if if I if I then get rid of that text and then hit load, it's gonna it's gonna load the text that it just has. So what we're doing is get, saving that value to core data and then loading the value from core data. And if we look at our if we look at our core core data model here, we can see we've got a value of post and it's just got a title which is a string. So what if we also wanted to store our, our other text? And also all the attributes go along with it. Well, we'd add an attribute. Obviously, it's undefined and call it something like content. And we go over here and wonder what attribute type to select. We can't say string because it's not a string. An attributed string is something different. It's a it's a type in and of itself. So if we said string, we could save the text, but the attributes will be lost with it. So what we end up using, of course, is transformable, and that's what this video is about. Transformable allows us to essentially store arbitrary data as NS data and, and the database stores it as arbitrary, arbitrary data but to the system, to the compiler and to other users or application it, it sees it as, as our custom type and we write an adapter to teach uh, to teach core data how to get and set values of our custom type that they can't do by default so once we set that as transformable what, we need to set a couple of things in the attributes inspector here. First thing we need to say is what custom class do, do we want to fool the uh, compiler into thinking this is? Remember it's actually it's actually just NS data. We're going to write the logic to um, fool it into converting between NS data and this but we want the compiler to see it and treat it as an NS attributed string. Now, what? There's this other type here, value transformer name. A value transformer is something we can use inside of CoCode, CoCode evaluation in general that can convert between two different value types. So it's a it's a class that we write essentially uh, that tells us how to how do we convert from the source, which is uh, 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 NS attributed to string, to NS data, which core data can store, and then on the way out, how do we convert from core data? to back to an NS string so we have to write that logic ourselves so I've already written a class here which we're just going to drag in and take a look at using I just want this to speed things up we're going to copy items if needed and we're going to hit finish don't worry we're going to go through all this code so what does this do well it's a class that inherits from the value transformer class and I, I've just called it a attributed string to data because on the way in it transforms what we've got in our application which is an attributed string to a data object just storing core data and so what, what do we do first well on the way in which is this transform value function see we we can take in value of any and return a value of any now what we want to return in actual fact is an NS data object containing our custom object this returns any because value transformers 
can be used in lots of places in Cocoa, it's not just in core data, but really whenever you are using it in core data, you want to return an NS data, so how, how are we doing that? Well, we're, we're getting our we're getting our object, whatever was passed in here, and, and saying uh, use the NS keyed on archive method and create an archive data with this object. Now, when when we try to put our NS attributed string into core data, core data is automatically going to pass that NS attributed string as the value into this uh, into this function. So we're going to say try to archive the data of our NS attributed string as essentially and return that as return that as a data object. Now, uh, uh, NS attributed string implements the protocol NS secure coding. So this will work. Basically, it knows how to turn itself into a data. So here we're saying turn yourself into a data and then we're saying return that and use that as the kind of deep down core data store. And then this one is for what we do on the way back out. So because, again, this can be used of values of any, anything other, other than core data, we, it could be any, any type that we're getting back on the way out. So we need to say, that, okay, this, this value is definitely a data, treat it as a data. And then we're going to say, use the unarchiver to, to unget what you, what you turned into a data as, as its raw object. And, and again, that works because NS attributed string implements and a secure coding, and then we're going to say once you've got that out as as raw data, return it as an NS attributed string. So therefore, our custom value transformer knows how to how to convert between all our types. So uh, now that we've got this, our implementation is actually is actually really simple. Uh, uh, when we're when we're fetching the value here, all we have to do is we we can directly say that our Content text field dot attribute to text, which as you can see wouldn't work with a string because it requires an NS attributed string, which is a different type. We can just say that it directly equals what we got from core data and it equals the content of that. Now we know that this this underneath the covers is is and NS data, but because we wrote that value transformer, we can fool um, the compiler into treating this as an NS attributed string. So if you look there, the content is an NS attributed string. So these types, these types match up and just work together. Similarly, on the way in, we can say that the post we're creating, the content of it, that accepts an attributed string too, so we can just directly get the attributed text out, out of our text field without having to convert it to a string or do any other fancy stuff, so we're just going to say it equals content field dot attributed text if we build this we can see we've got no errors and you do actually get type checking here because if the if your types are wrong in core data, it does actually check them. But because we told the compiler here to expect an NS attributed string, it assumes that if we give it an NS attributed string, it assumes that it'll work and that we've written we've written the value transformer that we looked at earlier properly. So it all works. Now there's a, there's another thing we we need to worry about either. That's because we've already stored some values in core data and now our our model has changed we we need to refresh that so the the way to do that is just to remove our app from the simulator before we rerun it again so I'm just gonna go home on the simulator delete it here now fingers crossed if we rerun our app I'm going to edit the attributes of some of the text, which again wouldn't be possible if we were just using a string, which 
core data supports by default. I'm now going to attempt to save this. We didn't get an error when it is saved, so let's see if it's saved as as our custom tag and any attributed string. Um, so let's get rid of this text and reload it. And it did indeed reload with, it, with the attributes. So it's saving as the proper type and retrieving as the proper type. So uh, the transformer attribute essentially allows us to hide some of the kind of back end logic because it's just we're just con converting from a from our custom type to data and pretty much any type that implements NS coding can convert to and from data so we're just hiding some of that logic into a separate class and then over here we're telling the model okay trust me I know you don't support this by default but we're gonna make sure whatever values you get, you get are an NS attributed string so it can do static type checking okay thank you for watching this video guys and I uh, hope, you, hope you've enjoyed it bye bye